Okay, so <clears throat> here's the slide table mounted on the mill. There's my aluminum channel protecting the DRO. And let's take a look at the back. There's the DRO right there. Runs a whole length. Now this is just a trial fit so I haven't put the uh, the worm gear in to drive the uh, the x-axis. But what I wanted to see more than anything was uh, and I kinda knew I was gonna get this that this piece, the amount that it sticks out here prevents this from going back towards the y-axis as far as it might. And that's kind of a you know, kind of is what it is. Um, there's no way around it. Uh, I did want to install it on the front because there's all these these adjustment screws, including the the screw the the screw here that holds the the uh, the gear saddle for the uh, for the Y axis drive is here. Uh, I might still want to use this measurement dial. Um, certainly I'll want to be able to access these to make adjustments. So mounting that track on the front would have meant literally this would all have to go away. And I didn't, you know, I didn't want to pull those. I didn't want to take this measurement scale off of here to mount the track here the way you the way it is on the on the back so my only choice was to measure it and you know mount it in the rear and of course <laughs> okay I'm not gonna go there <laughs> so the downside of that is uh, a little less uh, movement here on the Y axis so I'm gonna have to be real real careful about you know how far I go back here because they do not want to crush this thing against this piece this metal um, part of the the mounting area here and it's definitely a something to consider so I might end up putting a stop right here of some sort maybe a bolt to stop the movement you know when it gets too close to where it barely touches that up so I might end up having to put a bolt here um, yeah I think that's what I'll do I'll put a bolt right there to stop it uh, so anyway that's you know it kind of is what it is but again the reason for this channel was to have some protection to that to the rail that's underneath there. You know, that's just aluminum, and anything that comes down on that is likely to damage the uh, the receiver unit. So I think this works out pretty good in terms of protecting the uh, apparatus underneath, and still lets me um, use the unit. So here I've got. Here I've got, sorry about that, the uh, DRO attached. So here I'm actually turning the, the X axis control. You can see the DRO is picking that up. How does that work? Well, because that unit the receiver is stationary against the saddle so as the rail moves 
the X axis moves, it pushes that rail through the receiver device and that poles. There's a polling device in there and there's polling marks along this track here. The receiver's picking that up and it's displaying that as digital information to the DRO, to the, uh, the output device. So this, I'll you know, make these, you know, unravel the cables there and run those somewhere. But I have to mount this someplace, I'm not sure. I'm thinking maybe, you know, something like that. Or, you know, some guys like to put them down here. So as they're using the, using the device, you know, you can just look down and see, you know, how you're doing. This is not, actually, not a bad location. You know, it's a little vulnerable to, you know, things dropping on it. So it's definitely not, probably not a very good place to do. But since this is magnetic, you know, maybe this is something that I can use temporarily. When I'm not using it, I can just stick it underneath to get it out of the way. But when I need it, you know, bring it back, mount it, make my adjustment as needed, and bang, go to work. So, there we are so far. We're, probably, I think we're probably about 90% done. Uh, I need to put the gears and everything in and make sure I do a full uh, motion, uh, range of motion. And I already did that with the, with this Y, X axis. And my range of motion is perfect. It goes, you know, the full, from full stop to stop with no interference. So that's great. That's exactly what I, what I was hoping for. So the next project is going to be to install the Y axis along the side of the unit, attaching it here, here, and having the DRO sit stationary against this, uh, against the saddle again to pick up the, the Y axis motion of the table. So here's a little bit of what it looks like underneath. And in the back, I'm pretty happy with the results so far. I think it's, it looks and just how I intended it to be. There's your little profile view. Again, this bar protecting the delicate um, apparatus underneath. It's just a shield to keep bad things from happening to the to the measuring device. So here's that um, you know we we're talking about this earlier in terms of you know is it okay is that bolt right up there enough? I think so. I think so. This uh, there's another hole right here, but I don't think I need to attach that to anything. I think this location right here is just fine. So, um, next thing is going to be to Loctite all these screws down. Since I'm pretty happy with where I am right now, I'll Loctite them all down. Um, run the device. And then start working on that, uh, that Y-axis DRO. So that's next. So anyway, uh, I think I'll come back at some point when I'm 100%, like I'm 90% now. When I'm 100%, I'm going to come back and, uh, I don't know, show the, the thing at work. And you, know, you guys all know how these things work, so maybe I'll need to do that. This video is just sort of going through the process of installing this DRO. Uh, so maybe that's all I'll need to do from here. But when I install the DRO on the Y axis DRO, I'm definitely going to uh, videotape that and include it. So, uh, I don't know, we may or may not be back for this stage of the work.
I'm pretty happy with this, and I, I I'm calling this maybe 100% in terms of in terms of this video. So, uh, you know, if you got any questions or comments or suggestions on how I could have did this better, you know, please, I'd be more than happy to hear it. I'm I was doing this by ear, you know, I had nobody I could really talk to about how to do this. Um, so, you know, I'm sure there's some mistakes I made that you guys can can point out some things that I that I could have did better. Uh, certainly, let me know. I'm willing, you know, open for uh, open for uh, su suggestions and recommendations. And maybe, you know, if somebody watches this video and they decide they want to do this. You guys' comments can can help them, you know, in doing this uh, in a, a better way than I've than I've done it here. So uh, maybe we'll see you later. Maybe not. We'll see you definitely for the Y-axis install. Okay, thanks. Bye.